Like a lot of my wife's friends, a lot of our close friends, Cuban friends, are artists. Just in the way that like the guys that you know maybe you guys you know grew up with became doctors and lawyers, they're artists. Sure. Formally trained, connected to, you know, connected online, connected to galleries in Europe and the United States um, and China. China is becoming this huge market for Cuban art. I have, we have a close friend who's done a show in China and it's, I mean, that's a really like hot market. So if you're an artist here, you, you do a show in China, you go over there, you sell eight paintings for $25,000. You say you sold one, you know, or, or you know, you pay a, Fifteen hundred dollars in taxes. The government's like great. Right. You pocket the other twenty-three grand, and you live like a king back here. So, um, it's not a surprise that some of the like most sophisticated, smartest, talent, most talented Cubans are artists, and you know, and, and and they and they want you know things like their fine arts academy and their ballet and their theater companies to reinforce that. And you know, to nurture um, and and survive on that too. And I think that's, I think that's in the best of worlds the way that it would work. Um, but it's, it's, uh, I mean, the Cuban culture is very rich, and it's it's very diverse. And that diversity is very enlightening and it's very nice. I believe that we have been influenced from the American culture forever. More interaction would be uh, very good to that. So the influence is already here. And it's been like that. I mean, we are only 90 miles away from the United States, so the influence is very obvious here. So you're so close that 
can't be any trick. <laughs> no way.